Narcissistic abuse story time. Shortly after my ex and I got married, I noticed that he stopped complimenting me and stopped really wanting to touch me, be around me, see me, sleep with me, anything really. It's called the devaluation phase, but I didn't know that yet. About three or four months into my pregnancy, I asked him pretty specifically why he didn't want to touch me. He said, I'm just not very attracted to you while you're pregnant, which was kind of fucked up because he never told me that before we got pregnant. I was really hurt. I cried about it for a very long time because I knew while I was basically super horny in the pregnancy that I still had literally six months left for him to not touch me nor be attracted to me or compliment me and then dog whistle me when I would say, hey, can you touch me, hug me, kiss me, give me a compliment. Basically, it's like knowing you're about to go through hell, which sometimes is worse than the hell that you go through, just anticipating it. Not only that, but he was living in a different state more than half the time because he was working and commuting back and forth. So when I was about five or six months pregnant, I noticed some of his behavior was really weird and I got suspicious and started looking at shit. Come to find out, I realized that he had started up a flirtatious relationship with this woman at his job. And I wasn't able to see any of the texts or anything, but I was able to see the frequency with, with which they communicated. This happened with two different women to make a long story short, I found out about it the night I went into labor. It's actually why I went into labor three weeks early because of the stress of finding out that he had had two different emotional affairs with two different women at work. He lied and lied and lied to me about it. And so uh, he agreed for some reason, I don't know, to allow me to download all of his texts onto my computer. Literally, we sat there together because I wanted him to prove to me that he did not take these women out on dates and stuff. And he said he could prove it. I really still don't know what he was thinking. So I found out, of course, that night while we were downloading it onto my computer, the app we were using downloaded a PDF of all of his sex that he had ever used on that phone for like the past year and a half. Yeah, neither of us knew that was going to happen. So I was able to find out that one of the women who he'd had an emotional affair with was pregnant. And in the text messages that I could see and read, he was telling her how he wishes he could be there for her. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> well, she's pregnant. <laughs> I'm only laughing now because it's been three or four years since this happened, but it was incredibly, deeply, wildly, excruciatingly painful to read and to see after he devalued me and made me feel like shit on a goddamn stick as a pregnant woman, while I felt actually pretty fucking beautiful, sadly enough. Narcissistic abuse is vile dehumanization, and I wouldn't wish it even on him.